Well, folks, even the cows in Happy Valley have been a little down this week. ABC Sports welcomes you to college football. It's a CFA matchup. The Eagles of Boston College against the Nittany Lions of Penn State. The new kickoff man and the field goal specialist for Penn State today is number seven, B.J. Masillo, as Craig Fayek is out with an injury. Deep are the two tailbacks. Chucky Dukes is their starter, 33. Over on the left for B.C. and Justice Smith, number 42. Underway in Happy Valley. It's Dukes from the six. 15. Dukes to the 25, 27-yard line. And Tom Nalen is the ringleader. Now behind him, the skilled players, and Pete Mitchell is the starting tight end. Coughlin loves to feature his tight end. Glenn Foley turned it over here five times a year ago and still came within seven points. Dick Vermeil, we expect to see BC saddle it up and try to move it on the ground for a time. Like you said in the open, they want to put a hat on a hat. They want to run the football. And here is Dukes, and he runs it for no more than two yards into that defense. Now defensively, Lou Ben Fatty. Keep an eye on him, folks. He is a dandy in that defensive line. Behind him, well, here come the Penn State linebackers, and Reggie Gibbons, 58, just turned in that first stop. Talented secondary, but you might want to watch it. Derek Cabona, number 35. He moves from strong safety to pure corner. They move him around throughout that alignment. Second and long now for the Eagles. Foley's first pass. Wide open is the tight end Mitchell. He is very close, extending for the first down. First possession here. They send Lero, one of the tight ends, in motion, and they hand back to the fullback. Dwight, don't call me Shirley, with so far, Boston College has not been that productive on first down. That's an advantage for the Penn State defense. Mitchell is the motion. It's Shirley on a cutback, and Shirley close to midfield, and another BC first down. So the Eagles now have moved to two first down. The ball on their own 49-yard line. And the fake that Dukes Foley's all alone over here on the left side. His receiver was covered. It was good work. This is second and long. With the tight end in motion. And the running back is the fullback, Dwight Shirley. We're striving to be one on any given day. Who knows? So we come down to hopefully... Beautiful to play. It breaks free for Boston College to the 21-yard line. Ivan Boyd, the confidence builder, Dick, to take oh, yeah, the ball and move it on the first series of the game down to the Nittany Lion 22. Now Foley has protection, complete, and he reached into the end zone. They're going to mark it, I believe, on the one-yard line as he was extending Boston College their opening possession against the Nittany Lions. Shirley, touchdown, B.C. You can't do it much more efficiently than that, Brent. A is Sean Wright, left-footed, barefoot, perfect, seven-zip, Eagles. And he is not a happy godfather. <laughs> this one is not going to be easy. And McDuffie will try to light a fire. They kick it away from him to the short man, fielded at the 15-yard line, and he is back to the 26-yard line. That's Brian Moser. Now, the diehard starting lineup for Penn State. Bucky Greeley moves into the starting lineup. E.J. Sandusky, the center, is out. Three great players, folks. You've met McDuffie, Richie Anderson, the tailback, and Troy Drayton, number 18. Watch him at tight end. The quarterback today is the brother of last year's starting quarterback, young John Saka, threw his first interception last week, and it's a bitter memory. It was the interception on the screen pass for the Miami touchdown, now the first offensive play of the game, and Penn State down by seven. The handoff, and it goes to J.T. Morris, B.C. defensively. Mike Marinero, number 62, is their best defensive lineman. McManus, number 53, he is the leading tackler here. 
And your diehard lineup includes in that secondary, the free safety, Charlie Brennan, whose brother Brian will play Monday night for the Cincinnati Bengals against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Second down now for the Nittany Lions. Saka's first pass, wide open is Troy Drayton. Anderson, the tailback, waiting for his first carry. They fake to him, send him out as a receiver. Sack over the middle, and it is complete to McDuffie. To the 32-yard line, and 25 yards. Saka to McDuffie. Anderson again, awaits the first carry. At the 33-yard line, he's set behind Morris, and Morris, the starter, pounds to the 29-yard line. Morris is starting in place of Brian O'Neill, who was banged up last week against Miami. The backs are split, and Saka running away from the pressure. Pahopic in pursuit, and Saka out of bounds at the 35-yard line. It is third and 12 for Saka and the Lions. Anderson still to touch it. Fake the draw, gave him time on a play action, incomplete, Drayton should have had that one, shouldn't he, Dick? Oh, no question. You see him the right side of your screen, see him go up for it, he does everything properly, he lets it go right between. They tried a field goal that was blocked, Miami came down their throats on a short field. This time, Masillo tries to drop it inside the five, oh. and it goes into the end zone. It'll come out on the 20. The final meeting between BC and Penn State as the Nittany Lions head off to the Big Ten. BC has won only one game, and that was back in 83 in Foxborough. They lead it 7-0, and the handoff is Toyoka Jackson. The game Virginia got it caught up in. Huh? Second down and long now. Foley off the play fake, slip, stands back straight up, and the ball is dropped at the 25-yard line. Lou Ben Fatty, who's pass protecting those obvious pass downs. Look at this overload on the short side. One running back. They toss to him behind three tight ends, and Dukes breaks free. Dukes to the midfield, stumbling forward, and Chucky Dukes busts it to the 29-yard line. What a great run. I can see why he was so concerned. Second possession, BC on the move again. Dukes, after that timeout, is refreshed, and he blasts to the 20-yard line. That means that Dwight Shirley, 41, will be the lone running back in this set, and Foley can throw out of it, knowing he's got third and short ahead of him. Foley, though, will go for the first down, and Shirley gets it for him into the heart of that. Penn State defense. Brett Wright is first and 10 for the Eagles. Mitchell is your motion man. And the hand is to Shirley, who lined up as the tailback. And Shirley batters to the 10-yard line. They're loading up the short side again, Brent. See, they've got more guys over there. There they are. And they run to it. It's Dukes. Dukes to the 4-yard line. And now it's first and goal for the Eagles. Mitchell again is your motion man. Here's the toss to the wide side. Dukes slips. Down at the nine-yard line, and BC on the move again here. Cannon and Miller, the motion man. Foley steps away from the rush, fires, incomplete in the end zone. A penalty flag early. There it is, against the defense. Woo. Yo, that, here they're loaded up well, again to the right. Sorted out. Regardless, here's the handoff. Shirley batters ahead, and we get it confirmed that it was a first and goal. This is second and goal now for Boston College. Here's Foley. The hand, Shirley pounded again by the middle of that line. It was pointing it out to him. You would expect them to pass here now. Let's see what happened. Foley on a straight drop back, firing for the corner and off Mitchell's hands, and another penalty flag comes flying. I, yeah, I got that sandlot. Stuff yeah, you, you like that kind of stuff. <laughs> Wright's kick is no good. Joe Paterno declines the penalty, and Wright can't hit the three-pointer. That's a, that's a tough angle down there, Brent. So now it'll be John Saka and the Lions, their second possession. They couldn't finish off the first one. Receivers are covered. Saka drops back, diving reception by Drayton. 
Beautiful catch. Isn't that something? They'll do it by lining in an eight front, or they will shift to it. Finally, it's Richie Anderson, and there it was. They cut him off. Match well uh, against Penn State on the rundowns. If they could force him into the long downs, they match up physically better with their nickel and dollar defenses in there. Second and 16 after that tackle by Curry through behind the wide receiver. Rotate wide receivers. Justin Williams on the field with O.J. McDuffie. Saka going deep. Here's McDuffie. He's got it. Well, they have forgotten Miami by now. 48-yard gain by McDuffie. First and 10 at the Eagles, 25. Morris sprinting to the right. Morris turns the corner with his speed and gives Penn State a first and 10. And this good ball. It's a false start. The covered man lifted and went to the other side. Here is Saka. Thomas is the motion man for the Lions. Saka, straight back. Saka, given time high and incomplete. Is it second and 15 now at the 17? Brennan stands alone back in center field. Mistake! And Saka buried at the 19-yard line. Third mix-up today by Penn State. Saka, straight back. Fires to Drayton, the tight end, short of the first down, hammered out of bounds at the 10-yard line. If he doesn't make this one, he may go about 40 yards away from Paterno when he leaves the field. Let's see what happens. It's a 29-yarder now for the youngster. Got it. There's a lift. There's a lift. He'll go off taller than anybody. That was really important. He just grew about six inches after making that field goal. Oh, that feel good. There's a one hopper to Dukes from the 15. Turns it up to the 26. And uh, now it is first and 10 for Foley and the Eagles. This is Shirley. And tripped up beautifully as he was trying to turn the corner. But right here they are. Laro is the motion tight end. Foley drops it off to Shirley, who couldn't get his footing and comes free. Hard to believe that the first quarter comes to an end. Boston College 7, Penn State 3. We'll be coming right back. This is third and a long one right now, Dick. They're outnumbered over here. They're outnumbered. They're going to run to that side. It's Dukes. And they can get the yard anytime they want it. Look at that yardage difference rushing. How many times have you watched Penn State and Happy Valley when that toll is run up that way? Well, it usually goes the other way. Now, it's Dukes breaking the first tackle and making it to the 42-yard line. So Glenn Foley, their confident quarterback starting to emerge, tosses to Shirley. Shirley bangs to the 48 and another first down. I have a positive effect on, on my football team. Redheaded and Irish, a temper, we'd be shocked. He hits Mitchell for 10 and another first down. As Greg Grice checks in, Mitchell the lone tight end and Foley under pressure breaks the rush gets out and slides out of bounds at the 32-yard line, second and one. Now off a of fake to Shirley. Foley with a lot of time goes into center field incomplete. And it was Lero, the tight end. Now it is third and short. They overload the short side, Dukes. And maybe he's out of bounds before the first down. Fourth down. First down. Shirley got it. Penn State now gets Bonna back into the game in that defensive backfield. First and 10 at the 29. Here is Dukes being stretched out and thrown for a loss. Ruben has been 
performing very well as the free safety right now. This is Duke. And Dix suddenly Penn State is getting to that short side. And sometimes they don't get that oot in the boot. <laughs> Fully incomplete on the uh, on the one hopper. And wax that one on into the end zone. Coaches don't like to see that. No, that Here's the eight-man front. The fake give to Anderson. Anderson hit from behind at the 24. McDuffie is out to Saka's right. Saka rolls in that direction. Saka will keep this one and slides toward the first down. And I think he thought that Saka had the first down. That's exactly what the situation is here. He did not like the spot, and he's letting him know he's getting ready for the big throw. Oh, and take. now his tailback slips, making the cuts. Steps over to the left. Good punt. Hangs this one up. And it is caught at the 35-yard line. Lynn Foley has gone all the way at quarterback. Eagles scored on their first possession. This is Shirley making what he could. Second down, Foley. Given good protection throws, incomplete as Reggie Gibbons, the linebacker. And Dingle playing strong safety for them. Foley straight back over the middle, it. and it oh. should have been picked off by Willie Smith. It should have been picked off by the safety. Turn man is O.J. McDuffie. He's down. He went He's down. down. He cut down the ball and down the yard line, and it's called by Tom Quinn. The referee picks it up that he went down to field a bad snap. Here's another shot from the left side of the screen. The punter, bad snap. He's down there. Woo! It's down. He's down. Now, the Nittany Lions with a good scoring chance here. John Saka going to Drayton. Drayton's got it out of bounds at the six-yard line. First and goal, Penn State. Anderson crashes to the four, second and goal. McDuffie and Thomas are the wide receivers. Saka for McDuffie, pass it in the end zone. Definitely. The Lazy Anum High School, no question. He pushed him. Michael Reed again, he's no giant in this area. Give the ball to your horse. Anderson hasn't been effective yet, but you've got to give him the football. over the top and short. Good defense. Good That's defense. a long way to jump. They keep giving it to him. Second and goal from the one. Here he comes. This time, touchdown Penn State. See, this time the fullback got in there. Silo. Perfect. Penn State. Takes its first lead on Boston College. It's 10-7 as Richie Anderson bangs in for the score. And let's see how he does here with a kickoff. Beautiful. Back to the one. Dukes coming out. Woo! Dukes out of bounds at the 21-yard line. That's Ron Stone blocking on him. Then Fatty, number 55, play fake. Foley gets protection, throws low and incomplete. Motion, a wide receiver. Now Mitchell follows him and switch the running back. This is Dukes. Slipped a bit there, didn't he, at the 24-yard line. This will put Boston College. Interesting, though, that the most successful drive of BC's was their first. Shotgun look. Foley running out of it. Receivers were well covered. Foley to the 35 and out of bounds. BC first down. And there's that overload look again with three tight ends. And Duke behind it. Jumps over one defender, but he is out of bounds. Moves up, tightens up on the line of scrimmage here. He's Defensively, coming. he's coming. And Foley goes incomplete. The ball fell out of his hand. He Remember, he was perfect on their opening scoring drive. Now it's third and long again for the Eagles. 
That shotgun look for Foley. Plenty of time, and it's deflected. Pass was deflected to Mitchell, and now from the side, an official says it's incomplete, and Foley is furious. He said the ball was caught. You'll see the pass will be thrown to the left side of your screen now. See him right there? There's the ball. It was tipped. He definitely takes his pads and hands down the ball. He caught the football. Absolutely. He caught the football. Uh, just simultaneously puts the knee down. They came after it. And a penalty flag is down, and the punter may be injured. Yeah, I, I don't think they should have done this. First, first pull away. Foul. First foul. Roughing the kicker. Roughing the Automatic first down. See, that's it. Automatic. Giving. Yep. That's, that's a turnover. And this is Dukes, who's hit at midfield by Ben and Fatty. Boy. Down in that defensive line. Shirley. Oh. Powering to the 48. Third down. The Foley from the shotgun gets one on one. Touchdown, Boston College. Ivan Boyd breaks it open and turns it loose. They were one-on-one -on, -one on Cliff Dingle, Ivory Boyd, a six-foot guy, good speed, qualified for the state 100-meter final. Perfect again. Boy, that was lightning strikes fast. When you get that one-on-one -on -one coverage, you give them just enough time to let that to develop, and the quarterback lays it home. And that came with four minutes. I can make another punter the MVP, can I? <laughs> yeah, you did it last week. Here's the punt. Inside the five-yard line, it's Morris. 20. To the 31-yard line. Now it's Saka. Handing off. And this is Ryan O'Neal. We were visiting the Washington Huskies and did that piece on the Cougar quarterback. Now it's Saka. Receivers are covered. Trying to find someone to break free. Sacco with a lot of time throws high and incomplete. See, McDuffie is lined up on the right side. Sacco throws to Drayton who cut in underneath McDuffie and is short of the first down. And there with a few angry words on the sideline. Huh? Great punt. Fubiyama back at the 11-yard line to the 21-yard line with two and a half minutes to go. And so it's first and ten, Boston College. And Foley puts it in Duke's hands to the 24-yard line and Ben Petty. Foley handing to Dukes. Dukes runs brilliantly to the 40-yard line. 16 carries and uh, Foley getting good protection. Gets his receiver and a fine catch in Nittany Lion territory. Now Lee Rubin. Boy, do they move these defenses. I, I tell you, woo, they're in trouble, Brent. They're in trouble down the hole. And it comes out of bounds. Oh. Woo. And then BC made a late rush at him. So it's Foley. Throws complete, and it is oh. Miller again. First down at the Nittany Lion 28. Rubin. The defender. Do not let him off the line of scrimmage cleanly. Shotgun. Foley throws complete. Rice running away from the defender. Three wide receivers off to Foley's left. The shotgun. Foley gets time. Center field. Touchdown Mitchell. A passing clinic by BC on that drive. Again, Brett White, Wright was over there on the inside of the tight end, Mitchell, as he came off the line of scrimmage. It's 21-10, and uh, what a great drive here. Hey, they feel something good happened. Pete Carmichael, the receiver coach, he's patting him on the back. That's offense, it really is, and you just aren't used to seeing it in the college football field. Short kickoff, fielded at the 25-yard line. This crowd of 96,000, fairly quiet here is Saka. Get out of bounds. Find an open receiver, gets out of bounds to stop the clock with the featured performer. Six carries for no net yards and one TD, and he drops that one 
at the 40-yard line. BC has done an outstanding job against those three performers in the first half. Now here's Saka pulling out again over the middle, incomplete, and Kubiyama waits for the punt by Jamie Drew. Fair catch signaled for at the 33-yard line. So is old Jack Becknell, their ex-head coach. You bet. Now Foley firing hard to the sideline and a grab by Miller. Holy cow, what a catch. They did exactly what I said they do, Brent. Run out the clock. <laughs> Let's go get some more. Get greedy, man. Go for it. Here we go. Foley from the shotgun. Yes, sir. Move it down, boys. Got to use a timeout. They've got him spread from sideline to sideline. They're looking for one. Here's Foley, offensive line, giving him time. Now it breaks down. McKenzie in pursuit, and he they gets time it out. into the hands. So it's a first and ten as the chains are moved with ten seconds to go. And uh... over the middle, it's there again. Touchdown, Boston College. One second to go, and it's the tight end. <laughs> Again, working down in between that double zone, two deep safeties. Adds the extra point, and folks, with one second to go here in the first half, into the locker room at intermission. Get on it, that's a live ball! Doesn't matter, time's out, but... <laughs> <laughs> Do they have another second? <laughs> there it is, folks. Joe Paterno will have a few words for the troops. At the half. That man's got reason to be happy. He's been in this situation many times in his 26 years and come out the winner. Beckley. Hangs one, McDuffie. 20. Alley down at the 29-yard line. Drayton off the line as the tight end to the short side of the field. Sackle with a long count. Anderson slips near the line of scrimmage. Young John Sackle pulling out. Fires incomplete. Anderson, the short man. McDuffie is on Sackle's right, and Thomas off to his left. They're coming after him. It's the hot man, short of the first down. Fields the low snap. Sends one soaring toward Kubiyama at the 19. 25, 31-yard line and down, and it'll be Boston College first possession. Cannon, the wide receiver to Foley's left. Lero in motion, and the ball carrier is Shirley. And as substitutions continue, in that Penn State secondary. This is Shirley again. Penalty Holding. flag is down. Shirley bangs for the first down. He does it. I think he jumps outside and hooks it. Foley, the junior quarterback. Penalty flag comes down. And Dukes brought down at the 20 by Rich McKenzie. So there's another mistake. And... Mitchell, the motion man, Foley sprints to the left, Foley on the run, throws complete but short of the first down, Hammond. In his career, he can do it. That's a low punt. Let's it bounce and it goes out of bounds. He joined up with Bill Parcells as the Giants won a Super Bowl. Here he's trying to hang on. Saka overthrows McDuffie and Charlie Brennan. The The draw play, and Morris gains a couple of yards in a third and seven situation. Saka flares the back, and it is deflected incomplete. And you see defense turning in big plays, isn't it? Yes, it is. Lousy punt. Kubiyama lets it bounce, oh. and he will can just step away from it and let it roll down at the 15-yard line. A Penn State roll. First and ten. Foley hands it to Dukes trying to get outside and you boa Cody 28-10 this is the last game in this series between Boston College and 
Penn State as the Nittany Lions go to the Big Ten next year. Very surely pounding his way to the 21-yard line. And, and we do mean mighty. They play with anybody, those folks. Here is Foley deflected, incomplete by Stewart. Ooh, nice punt. McDuffie fumbles it. And got back on it there at the 37-yard line. Eight-man front. Anderson slips down at the 34-yard line for Boston College. Now Saka fires complete to Thomas. And Thomas is surrounded at the 42-yard line. Michael Reed and Eric Shorter. Blitz. Saka down the sideline. Incomplete. Well, it's fielded there for 31. They honor his memory. And wouldn't this be special coming on this Saturday as Foley hits Dukes and Dukes down at the 27-yard line. A real strong one. Now it's Foley on the toss to Dukes. Dukes turns it upfield to the 35-yard line in a first and 10. Eagles coming right after him. First and 10, Foley gets time, Foley drills his wide receiver, Clarence Cannon, Hammonds the defender, he's, he's eating him up, folks those numbers are accurate, now the play fake to Dukes, and it's deflected by Gibbons, Sandusky comes with a blitz, Brent, sends two wide men out to the left, Mitchell is the tight end on the left side of your offensive line and Foley looks in his direction. Foley saw him covered, now comes back underneath to Mitchell and Mitchell gets BC a hard earn and then we could see him flash back after it was too late. Now, Foley for the end zone, touchdown Boston College, it's Greg Grice. Greg Grice has cut five passes, three of them touchdown, and now Grice. And folks, here is something you never see here. <laughs> I can't believe it. Happy Valley is not very happy today. So Anderson has been taken out and replaced by Kiana Carter. And Carter pounded at the 29-yard line. That allowed the Miami linebacker to fill it. Here is Saka throwing to O.J. McDuffie. The short pass and getting him involved. Starts today, right. Hand off to Carter. And he was buried with nose man. So it's third and two. Saka complete to Thomas. First down, Penn State. I believe that's their first first down of the... Uh, $1,000 will be donated to the general scholarship fund of each school. Here is the reverse. McDuffie, a crease. McDuffie to the 40. McDuffie breaks free. McDuffie out of bounds. But at the 10-yard line, a first down. Look at BC 11. They pick it up. Saka fires incomplete and interference at the one yard line. Defensive pass interference. Get the defense. The ball we put on the two yard line. They would load this to the right with an extra fullback and it's Anderson. Stop short of that goal line. Make it second and goal. Anderson over the top for six. They like to use motion on this type of play. Bring OJ in and hit. they're doing it right now. And then go back out and slips. The ball is down. Picked up by the lineman. 
but the two-point attempt fails, and our score is 35 to 16. Stretched out to the right. It, it's a short lifted high and tried to get under it. Free ball, and Boston College pounces on it at the 28. Justin Smith. Hoffman trying to bring that same spirit here. Penalty flag thrown on the play. Shirley stood up at the 30-yard line. Let's see what Quinn's got. Yep, that's exactly what he's got. Now Foley, center field over to Mitchell. And today he's responded with four touchdowns. Under pursuit, sacked at the five. Eric Flair in on him. He's audibling. Keeping it very conservative. Shirley battles for a few yards to give the punter a little breathing room. You head here at halftime. Keep that sunshine. No chance. Ball is down at the 43. McDuffie is taken out of it. Now what they need, points. Saka. And Saka hits McDuffie. McDuffie at the 40, inside the 30-yard line. O.J. indeed. Here comes Anderson trying to stretch it and then turn it up, and Kerr won't let him free. Saka. And Tyson Thomas slipped. Third and 12. And Saka. Saka going down, and the pass is high and incomplete. Need 12 yards to keep this drive alive. Saka from the backside going down, and almost intercepted in the end zone. Wanted McDuffie. It's Shirley for no more than a yard. Red and we're going to return with more action. Boston College upsetting Penn State after this message in a word from our ABC station. Second and long for Foley. And the BC Eagles who are writing quite a chapter to their football history here today. And complete. Close to the first down. Got them putting in motion. Oh. Shirley stood up by Ben Fatty. The defensive right tackle. Fishing. Now it's Beckley, and this is McDuffie from the 21. And down at the 26-yard line. Now McDuffie is out to the left for Saka. Drayton off the line. Saka throwing to his tight end at the 42-yard line and out of bounds a very talented football team here Saka handing it oh. off and that was JT Morris getting the call and uh, Mamula you know two touchdowns and two two-point conversions wouldn't be good enough it is uphill right now for the Nittany Lions over through oh. Saka did not like that one as all 17 seniors on this football team all slated to graduate on time Saka to Drayton, a first down Penn State. First and ten. This is Anderson for three yards into the heart of the... You've got to mix it up, though. Off the fake. Ooh. Intercepted by Brennan at the 20-yard line. The center fielder rotating over makes the interception for BC just play what we practiced and we'll be all right now it's first and ten for the BC offense Tom Coughlin handles that himself Zabo gets the defense ready and now it'll be the offense and folks it is wonderful to see a program turn around and in fact they're gonna pick up regarding Coughlin if he can win this game against Penn State Busty loses Dukes Dukes to the 40 and out of bounds at the 42-yard line. Dead ball, personal foul, unnecessary roughness against the defense, 15-yard penalty, automatic first down. That gives him five 100-plus-yard games for the Eagles. And Foley, straight back, it's beautiful time, incomplete. Dick, four passing touchdowns, one rushing touchdown. Dukes slips up, 
And the clock shows 11 minutes. So here's Foley pulling out. Wants the safety valve to take off. Willie Smith had the coverage there. That's amazing how that play just altered how things were unfolding. Now McDuffie will let this one go down and into the end zone, and Penn State will take over on the 20-yard line. With, but that's an unbelievable statistic. Saka to McDuffie, who is out at the 31. We got a big one unfolding. And boy, they'll be disappointed in Morgantown getting ready for Penn State. We'll have two football teams on the uh, rebound in that one next week. Full 360 by Saka and over McDuffie's head. Spilling their guts on every snap. Now this is Brian O'Neill, the ball carrier, and O'Neill battling to the 40-yard line in nine yards. That's third down and in inches. Saka to McDuffie for the first down at the 48. McDuffie slotted out to Saka's left. Going to throw to him. 44-yard line and hit by three. On second down, Saka throws to the 30-yard line and Tyson Thomas for a first down. This is the handoff to the running back who makes it to the 21-yard line, but especially this late. Well, Anderson out of the game and Carter now their tailback. They send him out. He doesn't turn around. Oh. Carter did not turn around and look at the quarterback. He's Backs go out as extra receivers. High and incomplete. Drayton with Carter had a problem on that last pass pattern. They're so coming after Richie. Richie. Richie has to stay and block. High and Tyson Thomas breaks away from the tackle. Down at the seven yard line. Eric Shorter after that first down. It's first and goal. Saka backside heat. Good block. High and incomplete. Look at him at the corner of the end zone. Watch him get up there. Look how far. Hold it right there. Oh, look at that. Holy macro. That's a long ways off the ground. <laughs> That's some athletic ability by O.J. McDuffie. Now second down and goal. Tyson Thomas in motion. Saka back for the corner. Over to Drayton this time. And it's third down and goal. Here's third and goal for Saka and the Nittany Lions. Throws to McDuffie. McDuffie for the score. 7.21 to go. They've got to go for two points. They were... Saka. Pressure. Saka throws back for the two points. And it's Mike Archie who just checked in. Again, not a design play, but it worked good. Scrambled, moved out of the pocket. Seven. Twenty to go now. Now, see, watch this. Now, here they go. Now here they're they going to kick it. They're going to kick it on the move. And he's going to hang it deep. It's over the receiver's head. He tucks it. Runs it down and out of the end zone. He takes it out right now. Now Foley will probably use a few seconds as the clock begins here on the snap. Hands it off to Duke. And no more than two yards. Again, movement with that offense as three different players shift. The toss to Dukes runs out of the short side. The hole is there, and he's out of bounds at the first down pylon. Foley hands to Dukes, who dives to the 34. And Mitchell in motion. It's Dukes coming to the left, has a crease. Hammered at the 41-yard line, short of the first down by Willie Smith. X and now they give him David Green. Green driving second effort for the first down. Now the defense is into that overload. The toss, Dukes is back. Gibbons has him wrapped up at the 39-yard line. It's a loss. Second and long. This is Dukes. Steps outside to the left. Oh, and nice he stops happen. short of the 45-yard line. It's going to be third and long. He's 
audibling. Foley gets protection. Safety valve is green. Green to the 49-yard line and been fatty from behind. Good effort. Now the punt by BC. Just get it off. That's all Jeff Beckley had to do. Out of bounds it goes. They'll use an extra defensive back. Saka. Couldn't find a receiver. He's down at the 11-yard line. Penn State searching for the home run. Incomplete. It'll make it third down. And here he is as Collins checks in to see if he just can't ignite a fire with a home run. Going complete. Justin Williams, the receiver, out of bounds. Now it'll be Collins. He's a wonderful all-around athlete. Has a great arm. Goes deep. McDuffie's got it. McDuffie Woo! at the 18 with two minutes to go. See? Collins gets protection. Has to go underneath and incomplete. McDuffie had slipped down. Peck it down. And the whistle blows. Good ball. Ball start. Illegal procedure. Oh. Penn State. <laughs> he didn't know he was going to call that. So Penn State needs to get to the eight-yard line for a fresh set of downs. It'll be Collins in the middle. Complete to McDuffie. A first and goal for Penn State. Now 146. Needing a score, a two-point, and an onside kick. The line has been complete, and a penalty flag down. Interference is the call. And we have multiple falls on yeah. the defense. We have a legal substitution. He was just getting off the field at the snap. We have defensive pass interference. Eric Collins under center. They run the toss. Touchdown! Hey. Anderson's third. 35-30 and a minute 39 to go. It's a five-point lead. Collins rolling to the right, close to McDuffie, it's 35-32, folks. Holy cow. I think you can stand the last minute and a half, can't you, Dick? <laughs> You'll be right back. B.J. Masilla. High bouncing, Penn State up. Got it! Penn State's got it at the 46. It was Kyle Brady, the tall tight end, who grabbed the ball. And Collins comes back under center for his second series in the game. Pulls straight out. Gets protection. Has a man. Intercepted. Kamara picked it off. An interception by Kamara. Working deep, rotating over. Now Boston College. Foley hands it off. Green and Dukes the running backs. They do not want to give Penn State an opportunity to try to block that punt. Here comes Dukes. Dukes down at the 23 and the clock continues to run. I he wanted to get down before he went out of bounds. Yeah, I thought he was going to go out of bounds. The clock now ticking away. This is Dukes on a cutback. He made it. A second effort. And a first down, Chucky Dukes, the upset at hand. Had the pleasure of seeing a couple of them. And here's another one. And Joe Paterno coming across to see Coach Tom Coughlin. They shake hands. Number one, baby. Number one. 35-32 win for Tom Coughlin and the Eagles. And our Chevrolet most valuable players of the game. For Dick Vermeil, I'm Brent Musburger. We hope you enjoyed this one as much as we did in bringing it to you.